You left Fairview? Obviously. You didn't go through with the evaluation? No, I did. It doesn't actually take three days. I mean, it would, I suppose, if there were something wrong, but in my case, no. Oh, hmm. Made yourself at home, I see. Well, just be careful when you're packing up your personal things because I wouldn't want anything to go missing and then you two accuse me of stealing it. Does the judge even know that you've been released? If he doesn't, he will soon. And once he hears from Dr. Lawrence that I'm in perfect mental health, I will be back in charge where I belong. Well, my guess is that it's been something of a relief to you having Victor gone. I wouldn't say that. Now, I'm not asking to take over your entire show. Just a short segment where we can tell people that Victor is missing and flash a number they could call if they've seen him. I'm sure you'll get a lot of publicity. Yeah, that's kind of the least of my concerns. Oh, you're thinking the same way I am, that Victor might be in serious trouble. Look, I have not shared that with Victoria. Please don't. I want her to think that he's fine. But the longer this goes without him being found, the harder it is to have faith. I really am scared. Okay, uh, I need to be honest with you. See, there's, um... Hello there. Am I interrupting? We'll talk about this later. You know, there's something I need to tell you. Go on. Don't let me stop you. The producers at RSTV call all the shots since... They're the ones providing the funding. I could pass along your idea, but um, ultimately I just have to go along with whatever they decide. Yeah, I understand. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. you're welcome. Oh, there's someone over there I need, need to speak to. Jack, it's good to see you looking so well. Likewise. Okay, what was that about? Victor. She wants me to uh, put up a tip line or something, announce it on the show. Well, I'm glad you blew her off. That is what you were doing, isn't it? So the doctor showed you his report on you or told you what he was going to say to the judge? I think... The fact that he released me ahead of schedule tells you all you need to know. It says he doesn't think you need to be hospitalized. Which is huge progress and something you should definitely be proud of, Sharon. But there's kind of a wide spectrum between not needing a straitjacket and ready to run a major corporation. It sounds like you don't have confirmation of what the evaluation will say. I think... You two are the ones who need evaluating if you seriously think that the nasty lies you've been spreading about me would cost me my position. I'm just saying, I think it's a little soon for you to be redecorating, is all? Come in. Come in. Oh, Avery. Good. Uh, these two are still borrowing my office for now, so we can talk in the boardroom. Uh, we need to get to the courthouse. I just got a call, and the judge is ready to issue his ruling. I guess the judge is as eager as I am to put an end to this whole distasteful episode. Uh, the judge's office called me first, so your attorneys are probably just hearing now that he's ready to rule. We can call on the way over. Actually, you won't be allowed in. What? The judge only wants the lawyers and Sharon present because this concerns her private medical records. Um, in other words, he's figured out how sneaky and unethical you two are and he doesn't trust you. Makes you kind of wonder, doesn't it? What the judge saw in your psych evaluation that he thought would be so damaging if it got out? 
Well, let's get this going. I am eager to get back to work. Why don't you two use this time wisely and pack up all your junk? What do you think? Releasing her early could be a sign the doctor didn't see any problems. But there must be something negative in that report. Otherwise, why would the judge want to protect her from exposure? <sighs> that would be the lawyers. I'll be there soon. Judge is ready to make his ruling? Yes, but he won't allow Vicky or Nick to be there when he does. Why? I don't know. Something about respecting Sharon's privacy. Look, I, I gotta go, okay? I gotta get back to Newman. Vicky's probably climbing the walls. Let me know what happens. Done everything you could to stabilize things here. Reassure your shareholders. We can maintain some of that, even if Sharon does come back as CEO. And there's always a silver lining. If things get bad enough, that might be just what it takes to get Dad's butt back here. I hope you're right. Because if this doesn't bring him back, nothing will. I mean, whether or not Sharon was able to convince the doctor that she's fine, she stole those things. She knows that she's losing it. I mean, shouldn't that be enough to convince her to just step back and let the people that know how to run the company run it? But see, that won't solve her problem. Yes, it would. No, it wouldn't, because her problem is your father humiliated her. From her perspective, he abandoned her on their wedding night, made a fool out of her. So now she's out to prove that he's wrong, that everybody's wrong, and that she's stronger and smarter and better than any of us ever realized. Now I'm sure in her fantasies, Peter comes crawling back and he begs for her forgiveness, and then he stops and asks for her investment advice. Have you talked to Sharon about this? Let's just say I understand how being pissed off at your father might push someone over the edge. Make them do some things they wouldn't normally do. It doesn't let her off the hook. No. Nobody's off the hook. I mean, look at you. You have more right to be pissed off at my dad than anybody. But are you lashing out? Are you letting it take over your life and change who you are? Avery's calling. All right, Avery, you're on speakerphone. What's the ruling? Sharon's back in as CEO. Wow. Sharon has regained the throne. And the market hasn't closed yet. Thank you, Judge. <sighs> Damn it. All right, we knew this might be all the time we'd get, but we accomplished a lot. It's going to be different this time when Sharon comes back. We have that provision in place that we can't be fired. Sharon will have to deal with us. And I am so looking forward to that. If only I could find your father, this whole nightmare would be over in an instant. One. Hello? Checking up on us? How's the patient? He is flirting with catastrophe as usual. Listen, I think that I should warn you, Victor may be coming back to town very soon. If the judge rules against Sharon... Didn't happen. The judge put Sharon back in charge. Look, I don't know how much longer I can keep this secret. I've almost blurted it out a few times already. My wife isn't going to understand. You know, it might be worth it to face whatever the consequences may be. Easy for you to say. You're not in danger of losing your family. You know, I wish I had never found Victor. I gotta go. 
Ah, still here, I see. Well, let me give you a hand. Here you go. And let's just put some of your things in here for you. Happy to help. It's no problem. If you don't mind, I have work to do. 